Welcome back to another episode of Technology for Independence with Christopher Cooley. Today, Christopher is going to be talking with Tricia Venable about her assistive technology and remote support. So stay tuned. Welcome back to another episode of Technology for Independence with Christopher Cooley. Today, Christopher is going to be talking with Tricia Venable about her assistive technology and remote support services. Chris, always a pleasure talking with you. It's always a pleasure to be here, Patrick. I saw Trisna and her technology and remote support. And it's always interesting to know which remote support and um, what they use um, in the daily lives of independents. And so I asked Tricia to come on and to talk a little bit about her company, Remote Support and Technology. So I'm going to turn it over to her and let her tell us a little bit about the remote support technology that they use and why. So my name is Tricia Venable. I'm the owner and director of operations for Supporting Independence, LLC, located in Springfield, Ohio. My company provides remote support services and assistive technology throughout the state of Ohio. Several years ago, around 2020, I started looking for technology that would help the people that we serve with developmental disabilities to be able to live safely and independently in their own homes. So in my search, I was looking for things that were the most current technology, the most up-to-date, and the most helpful using devices that would be the least amount of invasiveness into someone's home, So while still being able to ensure their health and safety. So that's been kind of our journey. Our assistive technology is available with or without our remote support services. And again, we are able to provide those services throughout the entire state of Ohio. So the devices that I found were actually being marketed to the senior industry for to assist with aging in place. But when I reviewed some of the features, I saw that they would cross over very well for people that we serve, which are adults with uh, intellectual and developmental disabilities that live in the community in their own homes. So if the individual that's living with their parent, would this technology remote support be able to help? I often hear parents say that they don't get enough rest. They're, they're not getting enough downtime, work with their individual that's in their home. So what about the technology and the remote support and what kind of items do you have? So that's a great question. We have technology that can pretty much address almost any need to help relieve some of that stress basically from the caregivers, whether that be family members or even paid supports um, that work in the homes. So some of the objects or devices that we have, I've actually brought with me today and uh, I brought some videos for you as well. The first one I'd like to talk about is the boundary care system. This is a great wearable device um, and can be very handy for the situation that you were describing where um, parents are living in the home and you know they're not getting a lot of rest. So with the boundary care system, it's just, it's a average looking smart watch. It's actually an Apple watch that's been highly specialized and very customized for the wearer. So it has things like GPS location. It has uh, the ability to have a help button. It does fall prevention and detection, as well as seizure monitoring as well. So it's a very great system, very comprehensive and very customizable to the individual's needs. So I brought a video that can uh, give you a little bit more information about the boundary care system. Hi, let me introduce you to Boundary Care. Boundary Care is a powerful but simple tool that helps individuals develop independence and achieve their goals. We know that each person is unique, which is why Boundary Care is fully customizable. 
Our service starts with a specially configured Apple Watch that links an individual with their care team. Using this comfortable and attractive device, we help in many ways. For example, we can track important health information, such as heart rate, heart rhythm, oxygen saturation, sleep quality, and more. We keep people safe by offering fall detection and location tracking. Our geofencing technology is second to none. And if a fall is detected, we provide the location of the fall and offer to connect with emergency services. We can cheer a person on toward their fitness goals, such as step and stair counts or daily energy burn. We can send reminders, nudging when it's time to take meds or do other activities. And we can gather information through picture-based micro-surveys, helping to track a person's mood or gather other feedback. For immediate communication, DSPs or others can call the Apple Watch, which answers automatically. Calls can also be made directly from the watch. Many of these features are connected to alerts sent to support staff or caregivers. For example, a threshold can be set to send an alert if the heart rate goes too high or if oxygen saturation is too low. We also let you know when it's time to charge the watch and we signal when the watch has been removed or put back on. Caregivers can then view an individual's current status on any phone, tablet, or desktop computer. Our powerful web dashboard also lets you schedule reminders and microsurveys and display historical trends. You can even download data to share it with a healthcare team. Of course, Boundary Care is customized for each person's individual needs. We only turn on the features they request and no information is shared without their permission. Boundary Care offers maximum power with maximum simplicity. Our tools for individuals and those in support roles are simple and intuitive and can help meet a broad range of needs. There's a lot more to tell, so don't hesitate to reach out with your questions. So another device that we have that can also help with folks living in home with or without caregivers is the Viar fall detection system. You know, a lot of folks don't like to wear the pendants in their home, but they're likely to have a fall or they may have falls. So with the, the Viar discs, these are actually placed around the home. They don't make any noise. They don't have cameras. They don't have microphones. They simply use... Uh, radio frequency to detect changes in position. Um, you put these throughout the home and they'll send an alert to caregivers um, letting them know that there may be a fall and that the individual needs help. So they don't have to wear anything. So check out this video. Welcome to VR. VR is the leading 4D imaging sensor uh, in the world today. Uh, what we're doing here is a new type of sensor that is using radio waves uh, to see the world around you and actually see things that you cannot see. Radio waves can penetrate uh, different materials and allows you to see what's behind them. And we're using this for different applications from breast cancer imaging all the way through uh, automotive. This is little sensor I'm holding in my hand, as you can see here, is actually a new type of camera, a camera without pictures a camera that will allow you to be safe, but also will keep your privacy. This device allows you to track uh, everything that is going on uh, in the house, basically. Each uh, device covers a, a whole uh, room. It can cover very large rooms, like uh, four by four uh, meters, sometimes even five by five. And while tracking uh, the person, we are able to give alerts uh, for different uh, events that are uh, happening uh, in that uh, house. Elderly market is a very large market. And when you think about it, most of our lives uh, are in our home. Either we were sleeping, um, we're in the shower, etc. And when you look at, when you look at the, uh, elderly care, we have no eyes into these uh, rooms. The key thing behind this uh, device is the fact that it keeps your privacy. There's no uh, cameras, there's no lens, there's no pictures. Uh, what the device uh, sees, basically, it's a bunch of blobs, uh, a point cloud that creates uh, uh, your body, your body shape. And even if someone hacks into the system, they are not able to uh, get any uh, pictures. So. Uh, from that perspective, the person uh, can, you know, be safe in his uh, home, 
and uh, he won't be exposed to anybody else. On the other hand, we are able to track if the person is sitting, lying down, breathing. We can know if he's uh, walking, how fast he's walking, uh, uh, etc. This information uh, in the coming uh, uh, you know, future will help us to analyze the behavior of that person uh, at home. Another thing that we do is if someone uh, falls, we alert uh, not only 911, but we can also alert uh, the caregivers. So sometimes people don't want to be um, uh, kind of making calls to 911. They prefer their caregivers, uh, their daughters, uh, sons, spouse, um, to know about it first, and we are able uh, uh, to do that. Another uh, place uh, that is actually very uh, dangerous uh, for all the people is the bathroom. The floor is slippery. Uh, usually you take off, you know, uh, everything from you, like phones, uh, etc. So if someone falls in the bathroom, his ability to reach um, uh, any, any um, device uh, to make a call to his uh, uh, caregivers is very, very limited. Sometimes also when someone sleeps, he gets a hit uh, on the head, loses conscience, and uh, basically lies on the floor for a few hours until someone uh, finds, uh, finds him or her. This is very important, uh, and our device, as you can see here, can monitor the entire room, but not only uh, it can see what's going on in the room, it can see through things. So one of the things that we um, uh, have in showers are curtains, and since we're using uh, very low power radio waves, we can penetrate uh, curtains, we can uh, uh, penetrate uh, glass, uh, even if it's uh, uh, steamy, something like that uh, optics cannot do. And we can detect if someone, uh, if someone fell, uh, fell down. What we're gonna show now is a quick demo of, uh, of a fall, and we can see how the device can see through um, that specific uh, uh, glass and, uh, and detect him. Okay, so here again, uh, once the alarm is on, a message is set and um, that is something that uh, uh, immediately alerts the caregiver and um, uh, with that uh, we have a full safety all around uh, the house. Our sensor can uh, save lives in many different ways. And basically our try what we're trying to do uh, is to be able to uh, be everywhere around you uh, with a sensor that keeps your privacy uh, but also keeps your safety. The multiple markets are just growing. There's more and more applications that we're uh, dealing with. So I hope you enjoyed this and I would like to thank you very much for joining me for this uh, tour. Another device that we found that is actually a total medication solution. So so a lot of times people with that need some assistance with their medications, they may struggle with being able to fill the machine or, you know, maybe making sure that they're getting the right medications at the right times. Typically in our industry, if someone needs assistance with medication and they use a med minder, that med minder has to be filled by somebody other than their paid staff. And that could either be the individual themselves, a natural support, or a state plan nursing service. With from MedMinder Smart Pharmacy, it's filled by a pharmacist. So you get these trays preloaded with the medication, you just pop the machine open, set the trays in, close the machine, and you're good to go. And the MedMinder has some great customized features that make it very individualized for the person using it. What I especially love about this one is the video call capabilities. So let's take a look at that video. Worried about your aging parents getting their prescriptions and taking their medications? With MedMinder Pharmacy, you can stop worrying. We sort and organize all of the medications into disposable trays delivered right to their door. And we'll also provide the MedMinder Smart Pill Dispenser. 
They just insert the provided pre-sorted tray into the pill dispenser and can safely enjoy their independence. And for your peace of mind, you can manage the pill dispenser remotely. Enable custom alerts that will remind them when to take their meds and notify you if they miss a dose. And for additional safety, you can opt for locked compartments to ensure the right dose is taken at the right time. And if needed, an emergency call center service is available with the click of a button. And the MedMinder pill dispenser offers daily weather forecast, the ability to upload family pictures and record personalized greetings remotely. And our pharmacist will even take care of your refills. Only MedMinder Pharmacy provides such a comprehensive medication service. Give us a call or visit us online and one of our pharmacists will help your family get started with MedMinder Pharmacy. So getting a little bit more creative with some of the technology, especially with remote supports, and any of these that I'm showing you today can be used with or without remote supports. But one of the things that we found that everybody kind of likes, he's really cute. His name is Ebo. This is the Innobot Ebo X. This is an Alexa-enabled device. Um, so it can do all the same things that any other Alexa-enabled device can do. It can work all your smart appliances. You can set reminders for it. You can do just a whole bunch. Anything Alexa-related can be done with this device. The great thing and what I love about this is that we were able to take this device, and in a lot of cases, we can replace those security cameras all over somebody's house and still ensure their health and safety because Ebo has a camera up here and he has wheels. So we can actually remotely control him around someone's home if there's a need to check in on them. So I brought a video of Ebo in action. What is missing from your family? An average human spends 26 years of their life asleep, while awake, 30 years is spent working, which only leaves one to two hours a day to connect with our family, elders, or pets. And that's what's missing, a connection to address the concerns of safety and health of our loved ones. Inabot designed Ebo X to address this problem. Using the innovation of the world's best robotics engineers to create a companion Playmate, and most importantly, guardian in the home. At first use, Ebo X autonomously smart maps your home using vSLAM technology and divides areas you specify. This allows Ebo X to remember and navigate your home. At your command, Ebo, Ebo, follow me. Ebo X follows you like your loyal companion, smart tracking and centering your image. Good morning. Ebo X is also Alexa compatible. Alexa, play morning music. And open up the curtains, please. Okay. Allowing you access to IoT devices in your favorite playlist. Powered by Harman for a premium listening experience. Ebo X is an autonomous, immersive, interactive playmate for anyone, human or pet, in your family. Ebo X's self-balanced dual-wheel design with quiet, direct-driven motors ensure high-precision, flexible mobility. This technology works hand-in-hand -hand with V-SLAM mapping, able to navigate autonomously to any room you specify. Dynamic audio responsive lighting offers an immersive experience, customized by the Evo Home app. With biometric interaction, you can touch the back of Evo X's neck and refer to it directly without the Alexa keyword. Play something fun! As the family separates for the day, Ebo X assumes the role of guardian. With virtual fencing, Ebo X's internal map of your home allows you to mark areas you don't want someone, like a small child, to approach. You are notified as soon as someone enters a restricted area. Ebo X was designed to connect families beyond any distance. Let's see what Grandpa is up to. Ebo X uses facial recognition and auto navigation to find specific family members, such as a senior citizen, and give important reminders. Like taking medicine at a scheduled time. With Fall Alert, Ebo X's pose recognition will detect a possible fall and immediately alerts you. Oh, I gotta take this. Ma, make sure, Ma. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Ibu X can recognize the sound of your little ones crying, notifying you so you can comfort your younglings with your voice using two-way conversation. Hi, sweetie. It's mommy. Uh-huh. Are you okay? I love you. Equipped with the stabilized 4K camera, Ibu X will record precious memories and smooth UHD video. The Ebo Home app allows family members to share the viewing experience. Multiple families can connect via the app, chat, and see what Ebo X sees. At the center of Ebo X's internals is its upgraded X3M chip. Based on a dual-core BPU architecture capable of 5 trillion operations per second, this technology combined with the relentless pursuit of excellence at Inabot makes Evo X the robust, intelligent family bot we designed it to be. Evo X is also your pet's playmate when you are away. With multiple built-in DTOF and ALS sensors, Evo X protects itself with edge detection and obstacle avoidance. Evo X puts privacy first. All content can be optionally stored on a local memory card only, and you can engage privacy via the app, manually closing the camera or pressing the privacy button. Evo X is your family photographer. Portrait centering ensures that everyone in the family are framed properly for a great picture. With your entire home mapped out, Evo X knows when it's low on battery and will autonomously return to its charging dock. Evo X was created for the home, where families bond, grow, and connect together. With 4K stabilized video, Harman enabled audio, ultra precision movement, and the best in artificial intelligence computing, Evo X is the first true family bot. From the engineers at Innobot, we are proud to welcome Evo X, your smart guardian, into your home. Another great device that we have is called the on-screen TV. It's a video calling system. It's just a small device that actually sits on top of the television. The individual can make video calls out with this. It's very simple. It was designed to be very simple to use. The great thing about this is that you can also call into it to talk with the person that has the system and it'll auto answer. So the individual doesn't have to know how to operate all of that since not everybody deals with technology the same way. Another great thing in this era of Zoom meetings and, and telehealth is they could be preset into this device and they will just automatically come on at the time of the meeting. So it's a great system to help keep people connected. Check this video out. easy-to-use auto-answer feature allows older adults to connect with loved ones without having to do anything. The call simply comes in through the TV and they're visiting and catching up from the comfort of their couch. Security is built in, ensuring that only your chosen contacts can connect at specific times of the day and week. Stay connected with OnScreen. Finally, I have Miss LEQ. Miss LEQ is a social companion robot, and she is designed, she uses artificial intelligence. Talking with her is like talking with any other friend. She gets to know you very uh, slowly um, over time, and the relationship grows like it would just naturally. She can also be used for uh, practical purposes as well, for reminders, for appointments. She can help do reminders for medication, video calls. She can help send uh, audio messages. Watch Ms. LEQ in action. LEQ, I'm home. Welcome back. I sure missed you while you were out. How was Bridge? Did you win? Not this time. Dolores was the big winner this week. Oh dear. Well, maybe you'll have better luck next week. While I have you here, I was wondering. What are you planning on having for dinner tonight? 
I have some chicken and vegetables that I was going to cook up. Yum, that sounds both delicious and healthy. So those are just some of the great products that we have and devices that we have available, but we are able to get pretty much any technology that that is out there. So, so an individual living in our own home, becoming independent, how would they get a hold of some of the technology with you? So they can go to our website, which is um, si-llcohio.com. Um, they can see all of these devices on our website and they can actually use the contact form. The other way to get a hold of us for the individuals that we work with is they're able to contact their SSA through their county um, and then they can also contact us that way. Are you only in Ohio? We are certified only in Ohio, but we are certified to do business in all 88 counties. Care to share with some words of wisdom to the listening audience? I guess I would encourage everybody to really take a look at technology. A lot of times people are very frightened by it or maybe nervous about it. But I would encourage everybody to kind of approach it with an open mind. You know, it can be intimidating at first, but that's part of what my team does is we help people not only get the technology, but then also get comfortable with it, learn how to use it um, appropriately. And it really is a great way to increase that sense of safety and independence in your home. This is Technology for Independence with Christopher Cooley talking with Tricia Venable about assistive technology and remote support. Thank you, Tricia. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Thank Tricia, you for coming up and being part of this conversation. It was certainly my pleasure. Thank you.